Hi, I'm Devin and welcome to part two of this Louisiana Sinker Cypress Log. Now this is part of our Soul of the Tree series. If you happen to miss part one, you can get the link right here. Now in part one, we focused on the arrival of the log and over two days of prep work that took us to successfully get this over eight foot tall mammoth stump onto the sawmill safely. And of course in part two, we're focused on the milling operation itself and then what everyone's been waiting for, a peak inside the sole of the tree or the stump, I guess. Now, I'll say one thing. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I was really impressed what we found inside of this log. So please like, please subscribe, and please enjoy this video. As I've said before, I do this for the pure fun of it, so your viewership and subscriptions really help keep me motivated. All right, I hope this is entertaining. Hey folks, I didn't mean to startle you. I just wanted to say hi and that periodically I'm going to be giving you some insights and some opinions on this overall experience. But for the most part, I want you to sit back and hopefully enjoy some of this music and have a drink on me. I'm sure many of you are wondering about the availability of these slabs. Well, after carbon dating is complete, these slabs will certainly be offered to the general public. Kevin is the rightful owner. You see him here in the video. I'll share more about him later at the end of this video. Real quick, I want to give my personal shout out to Brent, who you're going to see here in a second brushing off the top of this stump. Brent's a hard working son of a bitch, ex-military. Brent, love you buddy. Alright, this is the moment everyone's been waiting for. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little olive look. Yeah. Green and dark green. Oh wow. Alright, I don't want to get you wet. Mm -hmm. There we go. Well, that's the first shot, man. You pretty happy? <laughs> that's good. Been a lot of work, a lot of work for everyone so far, but I think it's gonna pan out for you. That is crazy. The black, that's pure black right there. Yeah, it's got a lot of those great color tones. It's kind of some olives, some browns, some blacks. Some... That's fine. All right. Well, it's now. I'll get to it. All right, now that we're back to the time lapse section of this video, I thought I'd share some thoughts on the overall quality of these slabs. First and foremost, the overall beauty of these slabs speaks for themselves. 
And please make sure to check out the pictures of these individual slabs at the end of this video. Kevin was gracious enough to share pictures with me when he got them home and stickered them. So one of the biggest concerns I had in milling this stump was rocks. We've milled quite a few high value stumps, specifically walnut, and we've always run into a huge amount of embedded rocks. I was absolutely surprised when we didn't hit a single rock or any type of debris. Really amazing considering that this thing was dug up 30 feet deep. Another thing that was surprising was just the overall condition of the stump and the slabs themselves. I would have expected something that had been buried in mud for hundreds if not thousands of years would have been heavily rotten. In fact, we're in the process right now of saving a lot of bald cypress trees that came down from the great Blanco River flood. And I'd say about half of those logs right now are almost completely rotten. Take that in comparison to this thing that was sitting by the Mississippi River underground. Really hard to explain. So I am starting to be a believer that this thing is thousands of years old. I'm really looking forward to getting some of this carbon dating back from Kevin. Another thing you may be wondering is how many slabs we were able to cut out of this thing. Don't quote me on this, but I believe we got a total of 19 slabs. They were all cut at two and a half inch thick if I remember correctly. But you'll have to confirm that with Kevin, who's with Red Falcon Woodworks. Which by the way, I posted a link to his Facebook site on the video description. And in case you haven't noticed, I added a little cruise control feature on the sawmill. If you want to know more about it, I'd be happy to share it in a future video. Well, I'm at a point where I guess I should just shut up. Please make sure to stay tuned for pictures of the slabs at the end. And oh, by the way, once again, please subscribe. I'd be so grateful. And all subscribers are going to get immediate access to the carving dating information as soon as we get it. And if you're wondering about our next log of the Soul of the Tree series, I already gave you a sneak peek in the intro. Yeah, that burnt log. It has a really cool history too. It's not only been saved once, but twice. So stay tuned in a few weeks, and I'll make sure to post that video sometime in March. Over and out. Take it easy, and stay safe.